Hey, what's up? Chaz here in Dillon, Colorado. We are up there. We are well over a mile high right now. And I'm out here to check out Nate Hill. Think something new oh, yeah. sun. I just got this new bike, Santa Cruz uh, Highball Hardtail. It's got a 100 mil travel fork. It's it's tiny compared to... Perfect dirt jumper right there. Perfect dirt jumper. Hard tail. <laughs> and then this is Nate's bike. And this is an actual dirt jumper bike. Well, it's not really a dirt jumper. It's more of like a slope style, sort of old man slope style bike, you can okay. call it. I call it old man because it's set up with two brakes instead of one. And <laughs> it's got a little more suspension for the old bike. You know, safety, it's a thing. Yeah. How long have you been riding bikes? I don't know, like since I was my whole life. I've been riding bikes for 35, whatever, 40 years now. Uh, when I'm in town and not traveling, I try to ride here every day, like just for an hour in the afternoon. Out here, we'd always like water before we ride, but they just shut the hose off for the season because it's been freezing at night. If you're gonna call me out as a dry guy, don't say that. So it's like part of the dirt jump culture is like you're always watering the trails and like working on them and you're like, ah. you know, doing your part to keep them sweet. So if people don't do that, we call them dry guys. Dry so guys. Don't be a dry guy. Don't be a dry guy, also don't walk <laughs> on jumps. No, nobody likes a dry guy. The etiquette is important though, because honestly, as I'm checking out all these new types of riding, there's a lot of stuff that you don't know when you show up to a place like some dirt jumps. So pay attention to the etiquette. Don't be a dry guy. So Physics, for all you kids that don't pay attention to physics class, this is literally physics in action. You notice I'm breathing heavily, but I didn't actually, didn't actually pedal. He's just floating across these trails. It's absolutely nuts. All right, just to give you an idea of what we're working with right here, this is the medium line, and it's about as tall as I am. And then if you come over here, this is the big line, and this isn't even the biggest jump, and it is substantially taller than my head. Whew. Pretty fun. Understatement of the year. So, step one, we're teaching Chaz to dirt jump here, is put your seat down. And he is also a fan of the analog seat post. Try to do better than the small child. Do better. You want to land as high on the landing as pos humanly possible. So you can either pop more on the jump going slower and then get more landing, or you can kind of like race with the jumps and hit them fast and stay low. But the key is to get the most landing uh, possible to carry maximum speed in the next one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've been riding bikes, like, like small wheel bikes in any capacity since I was a small child. and just gradually, you know, grow, grew up and mountain bikes were getting good and started riding mountain bikes and like started racing and whatever. That's like the, the shortest form story possible. But yeah, I've always been into all types of cycling and ride everything from dirt jump to road to downhill to cross country to whatever. And I'm a man who is a jack of all trades, master of none and loves all of it. We are up at uh, kind of the midway point. We're going all the way up there, so he says. It's pretty epic, but man, this is nuts. This is in his backyard. Nate Hills in his natural environment. Any guess as to what 10 years from now would be the thing that like mountain biking would be? Like if you're thinking well, like jet sets, if, like, like, if you think in the now, future, like I think it's just gonna be on the same trajectory of technology, you know, infiltrating all of our different aspects of our lives and just like this, the new flight attendant stuff. I mean, it's basically more tech integrated into your bike and more BP buttons and yeah yeah just I think that's the cutting edge is customizing everything through technology interface and being able to like take some of that out of it and just go ride and not have to worry about it actually it's like it sounds more complicated but it really makes the riding like more simpler it does because you get on it it just goes yeah exactly hi vibes casual at 12,000 feet casual 12,000 feet hanging out yeah, you can see Keystone down there. I can see my hotel from here. Breckenridge is like the mountains, the ski area behind that. Zip's official line is like ankle compliance. So like the, the spokes are in the center of the, the carbon and then it, you know, rocks side to side when you hit, when you Whoa. take impacts. So basically the rim, uh, I wouldn't call it flexy, but it definitely has some give to it when you hit something really hard. And that's like a common, the issue with mountain biking is when you smash rims <laughs> with tires, like a pinch slap the tire. Yeah, yeah.
basically the zip wheels work like a tire insert where they like protect the tire. That's kind of the beauty of the system and the fact that the ride characteristic, like you kind of stick to the off cambers instead of getting pushed off of them. Because you know, the rims kind of move. Yeah, they just get have a little bit of give to them. So you sort of like, you can kind of stick to cambers and you don't get pushed off of rocks and roots and you can like hold your line better on, on chunky terrain. So yeah, they have some uh, interesting ride qualities that, you know, it's like, it has the softness and suppleness of like a softer rim, but it's like, you know, Com- you know it's compliant is what it yeah. is and it's being, durable too yeah and durable without being like flexy and like feeling like a noodle you know so it's pretty cool a lot of the carbon wheels are so stiff that they just feel awful if you're under 200 pounds you know so it's like what do you want do you want to like bounce all over the trail or do you want to like hook up and get some traction here and there so yeah just it's all ride feel and what you what you like i suppose the most Good solid part. ripper He's gonna go faster I'm down this hill. I'm afraid to say though that we're going a little too slow and I'm gonna have to get out of here and leave you. I'm gonna have to not slow him down. So. I'm gonna probably camp out here slowly by myself and Nate's gonna go back to his nice house. So anyway, follow Cam Fridays, check him out, but definitely like and subscribe for this channel because we're getting more exciting by the day. So like the smash button. Like the smash button.